here with the big win, just your initial thoughts. Yeah, in our captain's meeting this week, I just told Coach Kleiman, man, they're like, you know, what do you expect? What do you, what do you want to get out of the rest of the season? And I said, man, I just want to win. Um, and I think that's the biggest thing. It's just no matter how we get it done, getting the win at the end of the day, and that's what we ended up doing tonight. Four of your five starting offensive linemen played their last game at Bill Snyder Family Stadium tonight. What are your thoughts on just everything that they've given to the program and done for you this past season? Um, man, I can't thank those guys enough. You know, you know, coming in as a young kid, um, they, they took me in and open arms, taught me how to lead, you know, taught me the ropes uh, of K-State, and uh, I think they're leaving it leaving it behind in good hands, so I really love all those guys. I'm going to miss playing with them, but um, they, they left it better than they found it. Coach Clemens, so this was a big one for you guys in a lot of different ways. Did it feel that way? Did it feel big to come out with the win tonight? Yeah, just because, I mean, it felt like we haven't won in a month, and, you know, just losing um, is never good, and it's just never something you want to have happen, especially reoccurring and over a long period of time. So just getting back in the, in the wind column this week was, was definitely big for us. Avery, you had 10 carries tonight. It looked like you were running with some conviction. Um, without Dylan, did you kind of know coming into the game that you were going to have to do a little bit more running the ball? Yeah, they definitely said it was going to be a um, heavier QB run game this week. And, you know, that's one of the strong suits of my game. So just running behind my pads, and, you know, kind of fitting up in some gaps when I needed to and just trying, trying my best to, you know, follow those guys' blocks. And how different was the offensive dynamic with Riles down there on the field with you and Coach Wells and all the offensive linemen? I think Riles brought some, you know, fire to the group, you know, getting after those offensive linemen and really challenging them and pushing them. And just having him him and Wells be able to talk through some stuff on the sideline, I think definitely helped us out tonight. What kind of tone do you think it set for the day that the very first play is a run and you get 30 yards? Um, just, you know, it kind of just set the tone that, you know, we weren't going to back down and we're going to go right at you. Um, and just being able to get out and, and just those guys open up holes for me and um, or really just get that explosive and get on the edge, it definitely, you know, settled me down a little bit. How about your connection with Trey? I know that you've, going back to your recruiting days, you were on the train trying to get him here and then he commits and he's finally started making an impact with you guys. Yeah, it's just credit to him and his work. Um, he's always, you know, had the talent ever since he got here and he's, he's really Really done a really good job of, you know, getting in, in the playbook and um, earning his opportunity to get on the field. And he's made the most of it. You know, he's, he's made some big plays for us these past two weeks, and I think uh, he'll he'll be one to continue to watch for um, as we continue to grow our chemistry together. Same thing with Joe. I mean, again, without Dylan, you guys are looking for another running back, and he seems to step up in the biggest of ways. Yeah, Joe, another guy. You know, just kind of puts his head down and works. He stays out the way, um, and he did a really good job tonight. You know, just. You know, putting his pads down and, and running, running through some guys. So he has a, a great role model and, and person to look look after right in front of him and DJ. Um, and I think and Joe and Dylan will be you know two guys to, to watch out for. That first round you had there, did that kind of settle some things down for you? Yeah, I definitely um, think you know starting off, especially with an explosive and getting out, um, kind of just settled the nerves a little bit. But that was just kind of the, the game plan going into this week is you know. You know, run like like I know I can. Coach Clement mentioned that you're probably as healthy as you've been too. Is that? Yeah. I know you. In the Colorado game, you got banged up a little. Do you feel like it's taken a while to get get back to 100 percent, or are you there yet? Yeah, it took a little while to, to get to where I'm at right now. Uh, definitely say you know I'm back and just being able to you know take some some hits early in the game definitely settles me down and, and let, allows me to go out there and you know try to play a complete game. That fourth down touchdown pass to Will Swanson. That's pretty special at the time, man. Yeah, it was funny because uh, we were kind of contemplating between two plays and Riles asked me what I wanted and I was like, like the play we ended up calling, I was like, that's, that's the one I want. And I was like, you know, let's go out there and call it. Kind of looked at me a little bit funny. Uh, and then we, we call it Swan. We had two guys wide open. They didn't know how to cover it. And it was just all smiles on the sideline. So it gave me a shoulder bump when I came on. I know you probably asked this earlier, but having uh, Coach Riley on the field, what was that like for you tonight? Yeah, um, pretty much was just saying, like, it was just he brought a lot of fire to those guys and got after those offensive linemen, and I think he really pushed them to go out there and, you know, execute at, the high, at a very high level, and they did that tonight. It was, you know, a really big game for us, being able to, you know, win for our seniors. Uh, and it's just exciting to, to have him and Coach Wells, you know, chop it up and bounce ideas off each other on the sidelines. I know you guys take every game one game at a time, but is there any extra motivation for next week with what Iowa State did here last year? Definitely. I think that still leaves a bad taste in a lot of our um, – players uh, mouths just because they came in here and it was on our senior night um, 
and I know the defense really looks at it because of, you know, uh, how well Iowa State did offensively last year. You know, Austin Moore talks about it a lot. And it fires him and fuels him up. So he's definitely going to get those defensive guys going. And, uh, it's going to be, you know, my job with, with the, uh, the rest of the group to, to get the offensive guys fired up. To, to, to how good is this feel right now, Andrew? Yeah, I, I, I'm a competitor. I love to win. Um, I don't take wins, wins for granted, so I'm, I'm really happy to get back in the win column. Um, losing, losing sucks. Not to look too far ahead for you, the high temperature is 21 degrees. Next weekend in Ames, uh, are you ready for that? And has everybody recovered from last year's cold game with Iowa State? Yeah, you know, we could have a, a snow game part two. You know, whatever it is, we're going to line it up and um, get after those guys. So we'll be ready to go. Thanks.